spun around. You can see he ended up facing the cop car, and that's where I lost focus. Katie Peterson witnessed this pursuit unfold on the Loop 101 yesterday. Luckily, she was able to pull in the far left lane for safety, but others weren't so lucky. Thankfully, I was at the you know front of the pack of the cars. What started as a traffic stop for driving without a license plate turned into a chase. A DPS trooper using a pit maneuver technique, but 52-year-old Adam Wanko still managed to take off and drive into oncoming traffic. It's a high risk situation, but if troopers feel that the potential harm to the public is so great, it may justify such a degree of force. Unfortunately, this one was not a textbook operation. Wanko collided with a car that rolled and hit two more vehicles before it came to a stop. Jason Lamb is a criminal defense attorney. He says the innocent drivers who were injured have 180 days to file a claim against the state. Anytime that someone, a member of the public, what have you, is injured or harmed by unintended conduct, they may have legal recourse. In this case, it could be against the state of Arizona. DPS called the maneuver successful, and the agency's policy leaves the decision to box in or pit a fleeing vehicle largely up to the officer. But Lamb says it will likely be looked into. Could there have been a safer way to stop the car after the failed pit maneuver? I suspect there's going to be a lot of critical incident investigations and perhaps lawsuits that will really get into the facts of this case. Now, court documents show Wenko was not under the influence. He is facing endangerment and flight from law enforcement charges. There was a passenger in his car who was released without charges. In the newsroom, I'm Holly Bach for Arizona's Family. Holly, thank you. Also developed.